Say hello to your brand new Grandland X. We'd love to be showing you around in person, but right now it's safer if you watch this video to get to know your new vehicle better. To keep you protected, your new car has been thoroughly cleaned and sanitized throughout. Now let us show you around. First, there's the key. You can lock and unlock by just pressing the buttons on the remote. Some versions of the new Grandland X have keyless entry, which is ideal if your hands are full. If your vehicle is equipped with this, simply pop the key in your pocket, walk up to the car and pull the door open. To lock up, just click the key fob twice or press the markings on the door handle. When you're inside, you can lock and unlock the car using this button on the dashboard. To start the car, simply pop the key in the ignition. If your car is equipped with keyless start, simply press on the clutch pedal and press the button to the left of the steering wheel to start the engine. If you have automatic gear transmission, you'll be prompted to place your foot on the brake pedal instead. Also to the left of you is your electronic parking brake. It's easy to use, just push it down to switch off and pull up to switch back on again. Once you're inside, it's important to make sure you're nice and comfy. You can slide the seat backwards and forwards using the lever here, underneath the front of the seat. And you can use this lever here to move the front seat up and down. You can also adjust the angle of the backrest using this rotary wheel to the side of the seat. If you have the optional ergonomic sport style front seats, they'll look a little different. You can adjust the backrest and slide the seat backwards and forwards, up and down, by using the controls down there by your right hip. You'll also find 16 adjustable settings, including full lumbar support and an extendable and tiltable seat cushion. You'll find more about this in your owner's manual. You can also adjust the steering wheel. Just pull this lever here under the steering wheel column. You can move the steering wheel in and out and up and down. Then push the lever back into place to secure the steering wheel position. The electric door mirrors can be adjusted using the controls on the door. Simply push this switch left or right to choose your door mirror, then press the arrows to adjust it. If your car has electrically folding door mirrors, they will automatically fold in when you lock your car. Or if you're in a tight spot, you can fold them in using this button here. The electric mirrors also come with puddle lights. These work automatically when you open either front door to illuminate the ground in the dark. Your Grandland X has electronic climate control. To turn it on, just press this button. Then press the button on the left labelled Menu to access all the different settings via your touchscreen. Here you can then adjust the temperature, airflow and fan speed. There are two temperature settings, so you can have different temperatures on each side of the car. You can also adjust using your centre dials. Use these dials to adjust the temperature and the middle dial to control the speed. To clear your windscreen, simply press this button and turn the fan speed to maximum. If your Grandland X has a heated windscreen, simply press this button here. For the rear screen, simply press this button here. This will also demist your wing mirrors. If your car has heated seats, you can switch them on using this button, which has three heat settings. The heated steering wheel is activated using this button on the steering wheel itself. To activate cruise control, just press this button here when you're driving at your desired speed. To increase or decrease your speed, you use the thumb wheel. A quick dab of the brakes will pause cruise control. You can then reset it by flicking the thumb wheel back up again and deactivate it completely using this button again. With cruise control comes speed limiter, which will help you avoid creeping above the speed limit on those long journeys. To turn speed limiter on, just press here. You can then set the speed using the thumb wheel here and activate it using this button. Use that button again to pause it and to switch it off completely, press here. Also standard on your new Grandland X is the speed sign recognition system, which automatically detects road warning signs to highlight speed limits for you. This will be displayed on the driver instrument display in front of you. Your Grandland X also comes with lane departure warning with lane assist, which can be switched on and off again here. This will warn you if you're moving outside of the lane markings without actively steering or indicating. 
Your Grandland X may also come with an additional safety pack, including driver drowsiness system and forward collision alert. These will display visual and audio alerts to keep you safe. Forward collision alert will even break your car for you if it senses a collision. You can turn these features on and off by accessing your driver's function using this button. Then just turn them off like this. All your important info is held on the driver instrument display in front of you. To access it, simply twist the control at the end of the indicator stalk to find everything from oil life, fuel range and tyre pressure monitor. You can view the different menus by pressing here and selecting the section you require by twisting this dial. If any of the lights on your instrument cluster start flashing, please don't ignore them. Check your owner's manual or contact your local Vauxhall retailer. Your new Grandland X is equipped with front and rear parking sensors, which can be turned on and off here. Your car may also have Vauxhall Connect, which works through an app on your mobile. You'll find an emergency call and breakdown button above the rear view mirror, here and here. Simply go online to connect.voxall.co.uk to discover our connected services and create your account. In the centre of the dashboard, you'll see our new infotainment system. Depending on your model, you'll either have a 7-inch or an 8-inch touchscreen. To connect your mobile phone using Bluetooth, just press the phone button here, select Bluetooth search and make sure your phone Bluetooth is on. Once your phone is found, select and connect using your phone prompts. Alternatively, you can search for BT Vauxhall on your phone and confirm the code which appears. To access Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, just plug in the phone using a USB cable and you're off. You also control the DAB digital radio using the touchscreen. You can save your favourite stations by selecting a radio station and then holding one of the numbers at the bottom of the screen. If your Grandland X has SatNav, just press the Nav button here to access it and you can choose between a 2D or 3D setting and enter your destination. There's also a points of interest search function, which will help you to find your nearest dealership, hotel or petrol station. Your Grandland X is equipped with automatic lighting, which means they will automatically switch on or off depending on the lighting outside. To turn on your fog lights, simply press the buttons in the centre of the dial. For full beam, push the left-hand stalk away from you. To flash your full beams, pull it towards you. To use the automatic windscreen wipers, simply push up the stalk to the right of your steering wheel once to set automatic wipers, which will then adjust to the rain outside. If you need to change the setting, use the centre of the stalk to increase or decrease wiper speed. Push up the stalk further for constant low speed and up again for the fastest. To control the rear wiper, twist the end of the stalk once for intermittent and twice for constant. Pull the stalk towards you to squirt wiper wash on your front screen and away from you to wash the rear screen. You'll find the ISOFIX mounts in the rear outer seats. This allows you to easily secure your car seats. All Grandland X models feature electric childproof locks, which can be remotely operated to prevent the rear doors and power windows being opened from the inside. The button LED is illuminated and accompanied by a confirmation message. This LED remains lit until the child lock is switched off again. To activate manually, turn the red child lock in the rear door inwards to the horizontal position by using a key. Be sure to test the doors are locked from the inside. To deactivate, turn the child lock to the vertical position. If you want to open your bonnet, pull this lever in the passenger footwell like this. Then push the catch to the left of the button and lift. To keep it open, put the strut up. You'll find the washer fluid here. To check your oil, look for the dipstick here. And the oil filler cap here. Your owner's manual tells you how to top up your oil correctly. The Grandland X has a very generous boot size. Simply press the button under here to open it. If you have an optional power tailgate, you can open and close it with a simple swipe of your foot. You can also close it using this red button. If you need more room in your boot, simply flip the rear seats down, pull the lever at the top of the seats and fold flat like this. Or if you have the optional versatility pack, you can fold the seats like this using this lever inside the boot.
Under the floor of the boot, you'll also find an emergency tyre inflation kit or spare wheel. You'll find the fuel cap on the passenger side of the vehicle. Simply push it open and unscrew the cap to get started. You can hang the fuel cap here to keep it out of the way as you fill up. If you have a Grandland X with a diesel engine, you'll also notice a smaller blue cap, which is for refilling the AdBlue tank. If your Grandland X is fitted with the blue injection system, it'll need AdBlue refills about every 2,500 to 4,000 miles, depending on your Grandland X model and engine, as well as your driving style. But don't worry, your dashboard indicator will alert you when any fluid levels are running low. The diesel particulate filter system in your Vauxhall filters harmful soot particles out of exhaust gases. It includes a self-cleaning function that runs automatically when the filter needs cleaning. This can take up to 25 minutes and fuel consumption may be higher during this time. You may also notice an emission of odours and smoke and an increase in heat, which is a normal part of the process. The control indicator exclamation mark will flash if the diesel particulate filter needs cleaning and your previous journey hasn't enabled automatic cleaning. If this happens, just carry on driving, keeping your engine speed above 2,000 revolutions per minute and shifting down if necessary. The filter cleaning process will start and it's recommended that you don't stop the journey or switch off the engine until the filter cleaning process is finished. Your Grandland X comes with a three-year vehicle warranty, which gives you a one-year unlimited mileage warranty, and then warranties for your second and third years, each with a 60,000-mile limit. Vauxhall Assistance comes automatically with every new Vauxhall car for 12 months from first registration, and covers accident assistance, roadside recovery, and an at-home service. Even better, Vauxhall Assistance help is just a free phone call away, and is available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's it for this video, but you can check out other helpful owners tutorial videos on your My Vauxhall account or on the Vauxhall website. If you have any questions, your local retailer will be happy to help. We hope you enjoy your new Grandland X.